Hi everyone, I'm Nairi and welcome to my third Pilates video. Um, just a couple of things before we start. I've been teaching Pilates for over 20 years now um, and I've decided to make another video to keep us going through this lockdown period. Um, before we start, um, it's really important um, to avoid injury, check with your GP before undertaking any fitness programme and doing so without supervision is at your own risk, bearing in mind that I'm not able to see you. Um, I will not be responsible and liable for any injury or harm you may sustain as a result of this fitness programme. So it's really important that you just listen to your bodies. If you get discomfort in any of the exercises, just stop and relax and miss those exercises out because not every exercise is suitable for everybody, especially if you have got injuries going on and, or any medical um, concerns. So just take it very easy. This is a mixed ability class. Um, there are some things that are a little bit more advanced. So um, please, like I say, listen to your bodies. Leave it out if it does feel uncomfortable. So I hope you enjoy this class. A little bit of warming up instruction to begin with. Um, it's quite short, not too long. So let's get cracking on. So the first thing, we do need a band. A mat, nice comfortable mat if you've got one. Um, and some of us need um, a pillow or a rolled up towel for our neck. It depends how your neck is, how it feels on the mat. If it feels like you're pushing your chin's coming up like this, um, just grab a small towel, a um, little bit of thickness there, rest your head on that instead. Not everyone needs one, but use it if your neck feels uncomfortable. Okay, so let's come to our relaxation positions first and just to recap where we need to be. Feet need to be hip width apart in parallel. Okay, we need to be in that neutral pelvis alignment. So you just feel the base of your spine resting gently on the mats and just being aware that the back's not overarching or you're not tucking. You don't want to be in a flat back position either with the tailbone lifting up. You want to just find that happy medium. So between those two stages, just nice and comfortably neutral there. And upper body, try to keep those shoulders relaxed. And like I say, the head in line so you're not pushing that chin up. Um, core muscles, we need to wake those core muscles up. So let's just to begin with, place our hands on our rib cages, breathing in, wide and full into the sides and the backs of the rib cages. And then as you breathe out, just gently feel the pelvic floor muscles lifting up just a little way. And then think about taking that navel back towards the spine, again, very gently. Holding on to both sets of muscles in the next in-breath, and then as you breathe out, let them relax. Let's go for two more. So we're breathing in, and we're breathing out. Just gently draw the pelvic floor muscles up, navel to spine. Holding on to them on the next in-breath. And then release and relax. Always feel them relaxing one more time. Breathing in, shoulders stay relaxed. And then as you breathe out, pelvic floor muscles, gently scooping those tummy muscles in. Keeping that neutral alignment as you hold on to them. And then feel them relax. Okay, all we're going to do first of all, arms nicely relaxed down beside you. Keep those core muscles now gently engaging on each in and out breath. And just let your head roll to one side. And then slowly bring the head back. And then very gently just roll your head to the other side. And then slowly bring the head back. Just two more times. Just feel the weight of the head taking you slowly to that side. And then slowly come back one more time. Not forcing it, just to where it feels okay for you. And then slowly bringing the head back to that center. Lift your arms up, palms facing towards each other. We're just gonna go for a few little shoulder drops. So all we're gonna do is reach the right fingers up to the ceiling as we breathe in and then breathe out to release. So we reach up to the ceiling on the in-breath, release on the out-breath. So breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And just go for a few of these. Just loosen up. Really try and relax those shoulders back down into the mat. Don't force it again. Just a little bit of lifting. Not overreaching too much. Breathing in to lift up, breathing out to release. Well done. And then relax. Let the arms relax down beside you now. Into a wide V, palms up to the ceiling. 
little bit of rotation now. So anyone who's got a back issue, especially a disc related problem, just leave this out if it's uncomfortable. So we're just going to roll the knees a little bit to one side because we're warming up on the out breath. And then we're going to breathe in to gently bring the legs back. Same to the other side, breathing out. And then we're breathing in to slowly come back. So let's go for a few of these, just letting your legs just go a little way and really focus on the waist muscles to bring the legs gently back. So breathing out, you can turn the head the opposite way if you want to. And then breathing in to gently bring the legs back. You'll come naturally onto the sides of the feet as you take the legs to the side. And then slowly, really focus on these waist muscles. Let's go for another one. And hopefully, I think we've got one on each side, so we've evened up. So we're just breathing out, rolling the legs to one side. Breathing in to come back, keeping this opposite shoulder down. So when we go the other way, keep that opposite shoulder down. And then slowly bring those legs back. Well done. Bring your arms down beside your body now. It's just some little pelvic tilts now. So keep those feet hip width apart. All we're going to do now is just tilt the pelvis under. That's it. So you feel the small of that back coming into that mat. Hold on the in breath and then breathing out to gently come back to neutral. So scooping those tummy muscles in, tucking under on the out breath, breathing in to hold and then breathing out to come back to neutral. So let's go for a few of these now. Just gently feeling that lower back coming into the mat, not forcing it down, just resting it into the mat and finding that neutral alignment again. Being aware that the core muscles are gently working only to about 30% on each in and out breath. Notice what your upper body is doing when we go into that tilt. Try and keep this upper body nicely relaxed. And then slowly coming back to neutral. Make sure we're not gripping too much around the hip flexors. Last one, so we're tucking under on the out breath. Breathe in to hold. And then breathe out, find that neutral, ready for the starfish. So we're now gonna slide opposite arm to leg as we breathe out. And then we breathe in to bring everything back to the center. Same on the other side, slide the opposite arm to leg as we breathe out, so we're lengthening. And we're breathing in to slowly bring the arm and leg back in. Now remember, the arm is going above the head. Only take it above as far as it feels comfortable without your rib cage lifting. You don't want this to be happening. So keep that rib cage calm and really focus again, gently engaging the core muscles. So we're breathing out and we're breathing in to bring everything back to the center, keeping that neck nice and long, being aware of the rib cage. We're gonna go for one more on each side. So really, really lengthening. So we're breathing out and drawing everything back towards the center. Last one, breathing out and then breathing in to slowly bring that arm and leg back into place. Well done. Okay, so this is where we need the band. All we're gonna do is some little knee stir. So we're just gonna place the band underneath that thigh. Check you're still in neutral and just rest the lower part of the leg. And this is coming from in the hip. We're lubricating that hip joint now. So we're just gonna do five little circles outwards. You can use the band to help you circle. So think of the weight of the leg dropping into that band. Just one more this way. And then we do the circle the other way. So five little circles the other direction. You can, like I say, you can use your arm to help you a little bit. Try and let that leg really relax into that band. One more after this one and keep it really small. Now keeping that band there, be very careful of your hamstrings now, especially if you're tight in your hamstrings or your lower back. We're going to very gently extend the leg up and bend the knee back in. So watch the knees and the hamstrings. Like I say, you can always leave it out if you need to. Always listen to your bodies. Okay, so we're breathing out to extend that leg up and breathe in. Last one. So we're going to extend that leg up, really, really lengthen. Just let go of the band and then lower that leg all the way down to the floor without losing that neutral, lengthen it, and then bring it back into place. 
Same on the other side. So we take that band again, put it underneath the thigh, relax the lower part of the leg, neutral alignment. So this knee is in line with your hip, and then in your own time, little stirring action. Try and keep the pelvis steady. If you find your pelvis is moving from side to side, just make the circles a little bit smaller. So you've got two more. And then of course, we're gonna go the other way. We need those core muscles engaging on each in and out breath to keep that pelvis as steady as possible. Remember your thigh bone, think of it as a spoon, and your hip socket is a bowl and you've got a little stirring action, stirring up, whatever you want to be stirring up. And then bring that leg in. Okay, let's go for the extensions. We're gonna extend that leg gently up, push the hamstrings, and bend the knee. So we're gonna breathe out, keep it neutral if you can, let's extend up, and breathe in. Two more, keep your shoulders relaxed as much as you can, breathe in out to extend up, and breathe in. Now this time we're gonna keep that leg extended, really lengthen it if you can, don't wake you up, fully extend the leg. And then, we're gonna lower the leg all the way down to the floor, Really, really lengthen this leg as you go down. And then bring it back into place, bring it. Relax your arms down beside you. We're gonna go for some spine curls. This is the one where we curl all the way slowly up to the bridge. You can just do little pelvic tilts all the way through if that feels more comfortable, especially if you've got knee issues, back or disc related problems, or even neck. Make sure your feet aren't too far away from you for this. So we're gonna start with a little pelvic tilt first. So we're going to breathe in to prepare, and then on the out breath, we're just going to tuck the tailbone under, and just feel the small of our back into the mat, hold as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, just gently rock back to our neutral. Number two curl, we're tucking under, lifting the bottom off the floor, feel your glutes kicking in. Hold as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, gently round the spine, one vertebra at a time, coming back to our neutral alignment. Number three curl, we're curling up to about the waist. Take your pillow away if you've got a pillow there, as we're coming up a little bit higher now. Hold as you breathe in. Now on the out breath, tuck in the tailbone under. Really feel those core muscles scooping as you slowly, slowly curl down. Come back to your neutral, number four curl. We're curling all the way up to about the back of the rib cage. Trying to keep as square as you can with the pelvis so as you hold on your in-breath and then slowly, slowly, let's curl. Feel our glutes engaging as we curl through that spine. Try and imagine our spine as a wheel slowly going round, back to neutral. Number five, so this is where we come up to the bridge now. All the way up to your shoulders, no higher than your shoulders. And this is the point where you feel that nice lengthening going over the top of your thighs. Okay, hold that position, engage the glutes and hamstrings, and then slowly think of the chest relaxing. Okay, so upper back coming into that mat first. Watch that we don't push the chin up. Keep that neck nice and long as you slowly, slowly curl down. Right away back to your neutral. We're going to add arms for some of us if we can. Leave this out if it feels uncomfortable. We're going to count all the way up to the bridge as we breathe out. We're now going to breathe in to take the arms wide above the head. Leave it out if you feel your back arching. You need to round the spine as you curl back down. One vertebra at a time. Concentrate on staying as steady as you can. Really, really lengthen. Come back to neutral, bring the arms down. Let's go again. Breathe in, breathe out, core muscles engaged. Now as you curl up, feel the weight falling down into your feet. Lengthen your thighs, feel your glutes working. Arms above the head, wide here. Keep the neck nice and long and enjoy this. Slowly, slowly, curling down if you can. Like I say, if you feel you can't curl your spine, Bring your arms to the ceiling or bring them back down. Right way back down. Come back to your neutral, bring your arms back down and let's just hug the knees in. Because I haven't quite finished working the glutes and the hamstrings yet, so just have a little bit of a rest. We're gonna do an exercise called bridging. There's lots of variations 
of bridging in Pilates. So I'm going to give you kind of, kind of an intermediate one. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to come back up to the bridge and we're going to do some single knee folds while we're in that bridge. If you prefer, you could just do some little heel lifts while you're in the bridge or like I say just leave it out again be careful back problems disc problems and knee problems okay so make sure you just recovered feet not too far away from you so you're all ready to go again so you breathe in breathe out engage the core muscles tuck under we need to curl back up to the bridge first keeping the neck nice and long now you can keep your arms down beside you or you can place them on the hip, whichever helps. But we want to keep those hips nice and square. While we're in the bridge, we're going to do a knee fold, keeping as square as you can. And then we're going to lower it back down. Okay, same on the other side. So we're breathing out to knee fold. And then breathing in to lower back down. Now each time you put your foot down, keep focusing on keeping that pelvis lifted. So you're staying in that nice straight line. Keep focused on your core muscles. So you're gonna keep that pelvis square all the way through. So we're breathing out to lift the knee up and breathing in to lower down. And again, if we can, we're gonna aim for two more, but you're in charge. You can come out of it at any time. Just curl yourself back down if you need to. Breathing out and breathing in. Oh, it's getting hard now. Last one, breathing out and then breathing in. Lower the foot back down and then when you're ready, Relax your arms, curl through the spine, one vertebra at a time. Good, slowly, slowly, because you're gonna enjoy this now. And then just hug your knees in. Oh, that was good. Let's hug them in. Stretch out just a little bit. Well done, everyone. Okay, brilliant. Right, what we're going to do now, we're gonna come onto our sides. And we're gonna do a little bit of, um, Inner thigh work, outer thigh work, a little bit of waist work. Torpedo is what we're going to do now. Now, torpedo, we have both legs out to the side. And I always teach this with the legs just slightly forward, not directly to the side, just bring it at a slight angle forward. Now, your arm can either be above your head, hopefully you can see me here. Now, you can always use the pillow, place it between your extended arm and head. Or you can um, just relax your head down if you prefer. So like I say, legs are slightly forward. Now, I mean, I can feel myself wanting to do this. You've just got to try and keep nicely stacked with those hips, all right? Like I say, just bring your legs a little bit more forward, makes it easier. With the torpedo, if you've had a hip replacement, it's not a good idea to do this one. Or if you feel discomfort in your hip or your groin, or even your back, some back issues, this can be uncomfortable. So if that's the case, just bend your knees up. We'll be coming into this one anyway, and just do a few of your oyster instead. Otherwise, follow me with the torpedo. So nicely lengthened. So make sure your hips are nicely stacked. You can always align yourself up against the edge of the mat. So that will help make sure you're nicely aligned with your um, upper body. So all we're going to do here, really lengthening from the waist. We're going to breathe in to lift both the legs up. Okay, and then we're going to breathe out to lift the top leg just above the hip. Breathe in to lower the top leg down. And then breathe out to lower them both to the floor. So we breathe in to lift them both up. We lift the top leg, we lower it back down. We're gonna go for three more. So we're focusing on lifting with the underneath leg, so we're working that inner thigh, all right? Trying to keep stable. If you're very good, you can have your hand here and do it, but really make sure we just, well, we don't push into that um, supporting shoulder. You wanna keep that relaxed as much as you can. Last one. So we breathe in to lift them both up, Breathe out to lift the top leg, lower it back down, and then bend, lower the legs down. Now we're gonna bend the knees, okay? So your knees are just below the 90 angle. You want your feet more or less in line with your bottom, ready for the oyster. So we're still nicely stacked, underneath waist still lengthened. So we just lift the underneath knee up now, and then we lower it back down. So we're breathing out to lift up, and then we breathe in to lower down. So really think of opening the hip up without the top hip pushing back. You don't want to be doing this. Keeping the neck nice and lengthened. Remember, you can put the pillow there if that's better for your neck. Okay, we're gonna go for five more, hopefully. So breathing out, remember, you're in charge again. If it starts to burn already, just stop and relax. And again, I always do this, I talk too much. And then 
I lose count. I'm guessing it's two more. I wish you could shout at me and correct me. Tell me what's, how many we've got left. Last one. We're breathing out and breathing. Okay. Just give that a little bit of a pat. Let those muscles release a little bit. And then we're going to push ourselves up to what we call the mermaid position. So we're going to have our legs already, already around this way. So this is going to give us a nice little stretch now for the waist, but leave this out. Again, if you feel uncomfortable in your back or your hips, you can't sit upright. If you tend to sit like this, I'll just relax out of this for a minute. So we're going to take hold of this leg. We're going to float the other arm up. And then really focus on the core muscles. We gently take it to the side with a little bit of a stretch. Slowly come back and then bring that arm down. Relax that hand a little bit away from you because you're going to then float the other arm up and go for a little side bend that way, which really opens up the rib cage. And then slowly come back. So let's go again. Take hold of that leg, lifting up on the in breath. And then as we breathe out, lovely stretch. Breathe in and then breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out into the stretch. Push through the forearm and lift up and then relax. Sweep your legs around to the other side. So repeat now the torpedo on the other leg. So like I say, you can leave this out if it's uncomfortable or just do it oyster. Lift through your top arm, place the pillow there if you need to. Okay, legs are slightly forward from the hips. So we're only going to do five of the torpedo. Nicely zipped up and hollowed here. Underneath waist lengthened. Okay, here we go. So we're going to breathe in to lift both the legs up. Breathe out to lift the top leg. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out to lift the top leg. Just above the hip. Lower it back down. Keep lengthening both legs. Now, when you lift the legs up, really focus on lifting, working the inner thigh, trying to stabilize yourselves. If you want more of a challenge, put your hand on top of your hip rather than keeping it on the floor, your supporting arm. Try not to push down into the supporting arm. Last one, breathe in, breathe out. Really, really lengthen, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, bend the knees. Make sure your knees are just below the 90, your feet in line with the hip, keep the hips, sorry, your feet in line with your bottom, your hips are nicely stacked, really, really lengthening, here we go. Breathing out, I'm losing it, and breathing in. Breathing out, and breathing in. Really think of opening that hip, but make sure you don't push back on that top hip. Okay, now some people find this is uncomfortable for them, so, you can always do the leg straight up and down. Keep it going, but if you wanted to, you can keep the leg in parallel and just do up and down that way. Okay, again now, I have lost count. So, I think about three more. Breathing out and breathing in. Two, last one, keep lengthening the underneath waist. Breathing out and breathe in to come back down, brilliant. Okay, so we push ourselves gently up. So we're into that mermaid position again. Now, most of us find it always a little bit more difficult on one side than the other. This is my more difficult side. So really try and lengthen again. Try and keep your shoulders nice and square as well. Okay, so really think of lengthen, zipping up and hollowing. Let's breathe in to flow this arm up. And then we breathe out, little stretch. Don't take it too far. Breathe in. And then breathe out, take the arm a little bit away from the body as you float the other arm up, let the forearm come down on the floor here so you get a little bit more of a stretch this side. And then slowly push through that arm to help you come up. And let's go again. So we breathe in to lift up, breathe out, nice stretch. Breathe in, open the arms, and then take that arm a little bit away from you. Really lift out of the waist, enjoy this part. Slowly come back. And then relax, relax, well done. Okay, so you're probably thinking, oh, quite an easy class. But I haven't finished with you yet. We've got a little bit of ab work. Now, some of you have done Pilates before, probably heard um, of the series of five, which is quite a strong ab section, one exercise into the other. So what we will do, I'm just gonna guide you quickly before we go into it. It's a single leg stretch, is our first one. 
and then a double leg stretch is the second one, okay, oops, fingers are in the way. A third one, we will go into the scissors. I'm gonna teach you with the head down, because I always like to give us a little bit of a break with the neck. And then fourth one is the leg lowers, that's where we lower the legs just a little bit. And then crisscross is the last one. So this is one where you've got to have really strong core muscles, and you've got to be okay in your necks. If you're not okay in your neck, put your head down and continue with it with your head down. Um, if you feel your back going into an arch or you feel any strain in your lower back at all, try and do an exercise with your legs higher up or relax out of it. You really don't want to strain your back. So it's really important, again, you listen to your bodies. Nice strong pelvic floor muscles too. Okay, so if you feel any bearing down there, relax out of it. It's absolutely fine. So this is going to be quite the tough challenge, but I know everybody likes the challenge. So are we all ready for it? Let's lie down. So single leg stretch first. So we're gonna come down into this position. So we're lifting in the upper body, drawing the rib cage down, back lengthening into, into the mat. Ready? Here we go. So we're breathing in for two and out for two. Remember you can do this with your head down and bring the extended leg higher up. Just a couple of more. Breathing in for two and out for two. Well done, one more after this one. And then we have a little bit of a breather. Good, well done, hug the knees in. Okay, bring yourself back up, double leg stretch. We're gonna breathe out to extend the arms and legs away. Breathe in to circle the arms and bring the knees back in as we stay lifted. So we're breathing out to extend the arms and legs away. And breathe in to circle around, stay lifted. We've got three more. So again, if you feel any neck strain, put your head down, bring the legs up higher. You can just leave the arms out. Last two. Nice strong core muscles. Back stays lengthened into the mat. Always monitor your backs on this. Last one. Breathe in out to extend arms and legs away. And then breathe in. Okay, relax. Hold underneath your right thigh with both hands. Pelvis in neutral, going into the scissor prep. Extend the left leg up. Flex the foot, watch the hamstrings here. Lower the leg straight down, nice strong core muscles. If you feel it coming into your back, slide the leg back up rather than lifting it back up. Lift it up if you can, bring the leg back in. Same on the other side. So extend that leg up, flex the foot, feel the stretch. Now as the leg lowers, really focus on strong core muscles. Back stays neutral for this. Lift the leg straight back up. We're going for two more. Keeping the neck and the shoulders nicely relaxed. Make sure we don't bring it into that upper body, especially as that leg lowers. Breathe it, breathe out, bring it straight back up. Last one, extend that leg up. Now really lengthen the leg, relax the shoulders, lower it all the way down. Breathe in, breathe out, bring the leg straight back up. Bend the knee in, now we're gonna interlace our hands for our leg lowers, hands behind the head. You can just do normal curl ups if that's more comfortable or leave it out if you've got neck issues. We're gonna curl up. Okay, we're gonna lower the legs just a little way and bring them straight back up. Monitor your back, nice strong core muscles as the legs lower. Keep lifted in the upper body, don't drop down. Don't push the chin onto your chest. Always keep a bit of a gap between your chin and your chest. You have got two more. Make sure those tummy muscles stay sucked in and are not popping outwards. Last one. Okay, lower yourself down. Crisscross is our final one. Relax if you need to. Shoulder towards the bed and extend the other leg away. Come back to the centre. Change across. And again, keep the pelvis square. Don't let the pelvis rock and roll from side to side. So to keep it nice and square, back lengthening into the mat. Watch we don't push with the chin. Don't I talk too much? Let's go for one more on each side. Breathing out. Good. And then hug the knees in. Go for a full body stretch, lengthen out everything. Oh gosh, that's hard. Oh. Well done. Brilliant, okay. We're nearly there, let's come onto our backs though. Onto our backs, onto our tummy. Okay, right, onto our tummy. We're gonna do the dark, nice upper back strength. We're very good to follow this through with a little bit of back extension. So again, if you have um, neck, back problems, disc related, you might prefer to do diamond press, shoulders down the back, lift into here, it's a little bit gentler, okay, and relax down. So that's one option. 
Okay, follow me as you're going to do the dart. So your arms are down beside your body. You can do this with your feet together, or them slightly apart. You can rest your forehead on a pillow if you prefer as well. So all we're going to do, breathe in to prepare. Now on the out breath, let the shoulder blades slide down the back, turn the palms towards your thighs and lift up, squeezing gently in the glutes and the inner thighs. Hold as you breathe in. And then as you breathe out, lower the head down, palms come back up to the ceiling. Now think of opening the chest so the shoulders come down the back, lengthening the shoulder blades down the back as you lift up. Keep looking to the floor so you don't shorten the neck. And then we're gonna lower ourselves back down. Two more, breathe in, breathe out. It's so important to keep those core muscles gently engaging, feeling your glutes gently working. Keep looking to the floor. And then relax down, last one. Breathe in, breathe out. Shoulder blades come down the back. Keep the head in line with the spine so we never shorten that neck. And then we lower ourselves back down. Okay, just come and have a little bit of a rest and then we'll finish off with um, a few little press-ups because I know how much we all like to do a few press-ups. Okay, obviously if you've got a wrist, elbow, um, again knees, kind of do it on the knees, leave it out if it feels uncomfortable. So press-ups, just get yourselves onto your knees. Um, Bring your body slightly forward here if you can, so you lengthen that spine out. Hands underneath your shoulders as well. Spread your fingers out a little bit. Keep the core muscles engaged as well. So important. Head in line. So we're just going to breathe in to come down. And then breathe out to come back up, okay? So breathing in to come down. And really pushing through the arms to bring yourself back up. I've got cramp. Not a good time to have cramp. Breathing in. And breathing out. Keep focusing as you go down, keeping those core muscles engaged. So you don't arch your back. Think of the forehead leading, pushing through the hands as you come back up. Breathe in and come down. Breathe in out, two more if you can. Stop if you think that's enough for you. Breathe in and come down. And then come back up. Oh, I'm shaking a little bit now. Breathe in and come down and then push through the arms. And then if we can, let's sit back, round the spine over, stretch the arms out in front of you and relax your head down. If you're more comfortable, you can bring your arms down beside your body. If you've got a neck problem, you might want to put one fist on top of the other and rest your head on your fists. And just relax, take a couple of breaths into the sides and the backs of the rib cages. Just relaxing gently now. And then slowly rebuild the spine, arm curl, one vertebra at a time as you come up. And now just a nice little stretch. Leave this out again if you're uncomfortable. You might want to go on your back. Some people with bad backs I want to stretch out a little bit. You know, thighs and a nice hamstring one on the back. Otherwise, take your ball. You can do this without the ball. Sitting forward. Legs to start wherever this feels comfortable. And all we're going to do, very gently, keep scooping, curling forward just to where you feel you've got a comfortable stretch. And just hold it there. Just breathe in gently. Hold it there. If you feel uncomfortable with this, just come out of it. Remember, you can always do this on your back. If you want to do it without the ball, just relax your arms forward. Have your hands here. Some people like hands here. Just breathe in gently into it. Just let those inner thigh muscles lengthen. Hamstrings lengthen out a little bit. Really relaxing into it. And then slowly rebuild the spine. Shoulders relaxing down the back. Lengthen it out. Bring your legs together. And thank you very much, everyone. Hopefully, I shall see you all soon.